I noticed that people were kind of looking down at the ground and people were, you know, in their own little world, they were listening to their headphones and looked very inviting. And I remember I went to class the next day and, you know, that was kind of already in my head. And no one would sit side by side. No one would sit in a seat next to a person. There would always have to be that empty seat. I thought it was really ironic because I'd see them go on Facebook and they'd have like four chat windows open, but they couldn't even sit next to a person. I remember thinking, wow, that's where we're at. That's, that's where we're at. Do you believe that the, you still need that aspect where you have face-to-face -face interaction? Um, I know society's kind of moving away from that with things like Twitter, Facebook, you know, all those social networks that just allow you to communicate with your friends online through text messages, but uh, I do believe that you do still need that base of personal interaction on a daily basis. Growing up as a quieter kid, um, not that I find it hard to socialize at all because I can carry on a conversation for hours, but generally it's, let's say, difficult for me to just jump into a conversation and, you know, just um, continue on with it. Um, I definitely have a lot of self-consciousness, care about what people think, things like that, so it's harder to just get out there. Uh, not to mention I don't really have an overly outgoing personality to begin with. Um, online, I would say it's the exact opposite. Obviously, as I mentioned before, you have that um, anonymity with the internet. So you can really just kind of, let's say, be whoever you want to be. Not that I become someone else completely, but it's just you, uh, I feel like that anonymity kind of shields some of the insecurities that you have. I would say I'm, let's say a happy medium in between leaning towards introverted normally, but uh, online, I don't really have any problem being an extroverted person. We're, I'm having a conversation with a friend. We're in the student center and I get a text message. What do I do? I fucking answer it. I don't care if we're like best friends ever. That's so rude. And people do that. That's the worst. They'll answer your phone when I'm talking to you. In my world, it's never been like, hey, listen, this needs to happen. You need to go and talk to this person. I've never been like, I can't do that. I mean, it's never been like, there's, there's never been such a permanent barrier, such like a, this huge barrier for me socially just to say, hey, whatever, right? A woman's out and she's doing her thing, and um, and she sees a guy with headphones in and a guy who's, you know, sitting around look looking at something, right? Just forget forget every other factor. Forget, like, their looks, their, the way they dress, you know, their hair, whatever. Who do you think she's going to go and talk to if she had to go and talk to one person? It's not going to be the person who's in their own world, because you're not, when you're, when you're in your own world, when you're, when you're involved with your own technology, because it's, it's what's doing it in this case, you know, it's, it's less inviting, it's less inviting, you're less open to a new connection.